So, man, I hate to do this, but you feel me? It's still going on. This is my mother's name. And, I, you know, when you say grace, when you say, you know, rest in peace, you want your person to say they're deceased when they were deceased. As you see, if you came on being verified, you would have knew that, you know what I'm saying? They keep great track of of, of a human's movements through life. Uh, the minute somebody is going to be deceased, it's supposed to show it here if somebody's not scamming in their name. Now, let's get to it. Here's my mama's information. You feel me? Now, bam, you look at this address right here. This is Tammy's address. She was on Section 8 in Sacramento. In. You feel me? And if you click on this right here, man, you feel me? It's going to say my mom lived there after she died. You see that? September 20th. My mom was all, Tammy had already decided to pull the plug on my mom in January. So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, my mom has passed away. She gone. You feel me? And the worst part about it all is, is Tammy's still scamming in her name. And when you scamming somebody's name, they don't really, you, they details don't come up as factual for historical value or anything. You know, I ain't tripping off Tammy scamming in my mom's name and stealing her name. I'm mad that my mom's still looking like she alive and Tammy has assumed her identity still. So if we looking for more evidence, let's get to it now. You feel me? Let's go to some more information. These phone numbers, no. We're going to go right here. Miss Pat 1, Miss Pat 2, you see somebody is, uh, these are all new addresses for her. My mom had old school, she probably had one, two addresses. She was using like Hotmail and stuff, Yahoo and shit, you feel me? You see my sugar 69, Tammy boyfriend is LT Prime Minister Lawrence Tipple from 69. That's the gang shit right there. My sugar, that, this is a, this is a new address Tammy tried to move my mom's information to, and that's why this has popped up on my mom's address information, Pat 1, Pat 2, show more. My mom wasn't using a bunch of different addresses and all this old type of shit, man. Pat, Miss Pat 3, this is all evidence that somebody using my mom's name still. The same person that posted my... Uh, stole my identity and threatened to, if I exposed her, she was going to put my information online, which she did. You're going to jail for that, too. See, this when shit like this start happening, you try to let shit slide and leave it alone, but let the, let the dead rest. But somebody's actually literally still using the dead's name to commit crimes in and attack their children in. The dead giveaway was... The first time I used this for evidence that Tammy was stealing my mom's information, she went on here... And got her information removed. This is woman on Section 8, y'all, scamming the government. Why do they need to know this type of information like they got good credit? They don't got good credit. They stealing other people's shit and manipulating. And this is why she know how to do all this shit. So, yeah, Tammy then took her name off of even saying she's part of, you know, how they come. You can go down here and see who all the family members is. This the dead giveaway that she's scamming and trying to cover her tracks now. If it wasn't a dead giveaway, these emails is going to go to Tammy. Tammy took my mom's phone and kept it on for years after she died trying to receive any information. Because when you scam now, you know, you got to have that actual phone number, uh, the credit card companies and, and the loans want for verification, the, the original email. So Tammy ran up in my mama's house and took all of that and resumed her identity at this address, this is Tammy's address. This is where all the information had to be sent. She had to go and get. That's why she kept my mom alive. And when she did all that and made her move, my mom had to go. She couldn't be revived. If you look in the text message, Tammy said my mom wasn't showing no brain activity. Well, Tammy, she started showing brain activity. Oh, she wasn't blinking her eyes. Well, Tammy, she started blinking her eyes. The day that Tammy decided to pull my plug was the same day the doctors decided to take my mom off breathing because she could breathe on her own. Tammy was shocked to see that my mom was making it back and she had stole from her. And, and not only that... Man, you know, anybody down with her who let, who was like, oh, go ahead, get away with that. Now, bam, possible relatives. Rachel Williams, my sister, pops up first. We have an actual sister, the same one who went down to the hospital and said, I get to make all the decisions for her. Scan my name, set the hospital um, 
told her to get some notarized statement uh, to, to stop me from making decisions so she could go on without me and pull my mom plug immediately. She did, It didn't even take no time. She came right back up to the hospital with some notarized statements in my name that said something about oh, the um, social worker up there and uh, the hospital worker seeing I was bugging. If your mom finna die and your sister trying to pull her plug because she done stole her identity and scammed her and robbed her already, of course you're going to say you disagree with your mother being kill uh pl plug pool and the doctors didn't even say that they got my punk ass dad name in here now why you didn't tell her to stop all of that shit i don't know it's, it's beyond me we're, we're, I, we're gonna have to get to that and it's gonna be bad because you're gonna have to explain this shit lawrence v temple this bitch ass nigga right here yep you know what i'm saying and that's the that this the problem right here. This nigga right here be put a broke nigga gonna have a bitch doing scaleless scam shit, robbing her own family, and that's what it was. But yeah, as you see, she didn't pull her name possible relatives <laughs> off of the relative list, bro. Like it even got her husband. Uh, Tammy, Tammy's not married to him. Tammy's married to another nigga. He married to another bitch. They never got it to know. Kara, we need to contact her. They got they got so many relatives. That's my dad's wife that robbed him for the hundreds of thousands when my grandpa died. She's a punk bitch. When this nigga, when this bitch died, when this when my dad went on um a disability, she couldn't survive off of that alimony no more. He stopped that alimony. That bitch had to move her out. Guess who he asked to move her out? Me. The bitch ass nigga got my whole family, but now here's my grandma. When you're deceased, it's supposed to say when you're deceased immediately. Tammy keeping my mom's name alive and not for good reason. Shaleen F. Williams, this the fuck bitch. This is my cousin from a aunt from from my auntie. You feel me? She was putting foster home mad at my mom because my mom didn't come get her. My mom already had a full house, nigga, and you was mentally and and unstable she wasn't bringing you in her home so she hated my mom for that but she called herself williams and nigga you're not in our family but you don't have a williams my dad didn't have you that's crazy that's how much everybody rolled my mom and carried and my mom carried everybody on her back and that shit got heavy for it man you feel me <laughs> they tried to say tammy said she told the hospital i was a strange nah i was just out my mom's way i didn't i didn't bend i i, I didn't didn't feed, didn't feed off her, didn't use her for nothing. My mom had got made me mad. Tammy used that to her advantage to get close to my mom and rob her for everything she had. Nigga, Tammy was mad at my mom since a child because my mom abandoned her. My mom moved out of Metaview, took me and my sister to go, to go finish school and told Tammy she couldn't come because she was like a problem child. But yeah, Tammy still being a problem child. As you see, what type of woman mourns her mom, but at the same time, you shopping online, getting everything you wanted in life. And then what made it worse about everything, ladies and gentlemen, Tammy had turned around. Tammy turned the fuck around, and my mom never made it to a church. My mom never had a pastor. Tammy spent all the money, asked for help, scammed her name. And mind you, while my mom was still alive, Tammy was making funeral arrangements for her. She was out of here, man. Rest in peace to my mama. She was a good person. Man, she took care of everybody. She didn't deserve this. My mom would have been 70. Man, she had another 20 years in her. Man, still rocking, still doing her thing. Man, if you got bum-ass children around you leeching off, you trying to get your um, health care checked because you get older in age and shit, they not going to take care of you like a proper he uh, health professional will. Don't fall for it. They out for the money, and once they see you as a bag, they will they, they they will exterminate your ass and treat you as such. And it's a damn shame that this shit happened, man. And this shit going on to this day. Tammy's still scamming in my mom's name. Oh no, my mom dead. She died in 2020. It's it's oh fo. My mom don't get the same grace. I gotta go to my other family's funerals and I remember how respectful and honorable my mom was. So anybody supporting that Tammy could steal her identity. My mom had a perfect credit score. She never stole from nobody, took from nobody or nothing. She owned her own house, worked, went to college, took care of her kids, man. She did the best she could. Man, my mom didn't deserve to go out like this, man. You feel me? <clears throat> I'm writing a book now. It's called Scammy Tammy. Bro, we all just want to know one thing, Tammy. Like, man, we had, man, I, you you look into our history. We had a beautiful life. I don't know why Tammy chose the streets and, 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 and just corrupted our home and destroyed my mom's life. You feel me? Just targeting her. You could have did all that shit and ran away. You could, you brought that shit my mama home. And then when my mama sent you to jail and, and rejected you, man, you never forgave that woman, man. You never forgave her. And you know you told me what you forgave. Her. Worst case scenario, you know you was telling me everything you was doing, man. You should have walked away and walked away. When they start, you was getting 
getting that check for my mom and when the minute that the hospital took it from you, you came in there tripping, man, and tried to pull her plug because you wasn't getting nothing out of it no more, man. You told me you was going to pull her plug before them credit cards went bad that you was using in her name. And then you went and pulled hella more credit and shit out of her name. And you got the nerve to admit this shit, but say, oh, I did it for the because I had to bury mom. No, you chose to bury mom on that day. Nigga, them doctors said she could live on her own with her breathing out of her own lungs. And you said, no, you get to make those decisions. And you ran around talking about crazy. I'm not crazy. You keep trying to put that on me, trying to say, oh, they seen you tripping. Anybody who would have, with a mom dying and somebody trying to pull her plug that and robbed her and scammed her and they didn't get along with disagree. That's just what happens naturally in the hospital. You keep I just wouldn't see the family. And everybody said you'd say 